Hello there and welcome to Ken Crackers. Today we are looking at the topic of solvent extraction. Solvent extraction is a separation technique that's used to extract a solute from a solution using another immiscible solvent. Now, when we do this at school, we have a very important piece of apparatus that's in which the extraction is carried out, and that's the separatory funnel. Today, I'm going to be using a plain glass bottle for my separatory funnel. This is solvent extraction under the quarantine. And today, I'm going to be extracting a blue dye from a blue dye oil solution. So, I'm going to be creating a solution from the blue dye and the oil, and then the solution that I'm going to use for the extraction is water. So, to repeat, we have the extraction of a blue dye from a blue dye, blue dye and oil mixture using water. So first, I'm going to go ahead and pour my oil into my home separator funnel, so to speak. And there I have my oil. I'm going to go ahead and use this chopper to take a little bit of try one drop, two drops. Oops. I'm trying to close what I can't do this. Alright. So now I have my blue dye and it's going to get it dissolving oil. And so I'm going to shake it a bit to get it dissolved. I'm going to add another drop. Two drops. Shake. Like that. One more drop for fun. Right. So I dissolve my oil and blue dye solution. Now I'm going to use water to try and extract out the blue dye. Now, of course, this is food coloring. Okay? And food coloring. As you would guess, you'd expect to be soluble in water. That's why they use it as food, as food coloring. So, I'm expecting that the blue dye will probably be more soluble in the water. But the blue dyes, these um, dyes that they use as um, uh, food coloring, they also have long um, hydrophobic um, chains um, that probably dissolve well in oil, so which way will it go? I'm going to add my water. And then I'm going to shake. Now, I'm shaking the mixture to make sure that the solute, which is the blue dye, comes into contact with both liquids, the oil and the water. And so, the solute, the blue dye, will partition itself between the two liquids. And I'm agitating to increase, um, to increase the, the speed of that um, separation process so that they come to equilibrium faster. Okay? Now, normally, if I'm doing that with um, organic solvents, you have to open and release the pressure because organic solvents typically are volatile. And so, if you shake them, it's going to volatilize and you could put pressure on the glass and break it. So you have to theoretically release the pressure. Now, I'm going to allow this to stand and in a while you'll start to see that the two layers are separating because the oil is immiscible with the water and one of them has, and they have different densities. So the oil will typically have a lower density and we 
flow towards the top and the water will form a lower layer. We've done this already and we're going to show you the result. And here's the final result. You can see the oil on top floating above the aqueous layer below. And you can clearly see that the blue dye is more soluble in the water than the oil. So our decision to use the water to extract the blue dye from the oil is a good one. Thank you for watching Ken Crackers. See you next time. Don't forget to share, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications so that you can receive notification as soon as we put up chemistry content. See you next time.